There you go, Doug. Uh, good afternoon. Evening. Yes. Here we are then. What have you got on the go here? Right, well, what, what we've got here is uh, I've taken that off. Uh -huh. I've had to take it off with a bit of brute force. It came off in two pieces, as you can see. Uh, it was glued. Uh, the reason it's done that is because if you look here now on the guitar, I've yeah. got rid of all the glue. Yeah. It's got scratches there oh, yeah. and it's got super glue there. Oh, yeah. That's what they've glued it down with. It's not exactly a. It's got two side, double sided tape on it, a thin layer of it, and then super glued down because it didn't stick. But it's made a right bastard mess on it. I was going to say, I wouldn't actually. Uh... Now, these are the things that are going on, so. Because it's got to be better than that, the original. Well, yeah. Mm. But I've got to see what they're going to oh, yeah. cover up. Oh, they're covering it up. So that saves me polishing it. I've cleaned it all up anyway, so... See, you've got two there. They're both the same? Yeah, no, they, no that's for that size. Oh, I see. Uh, so there you go. Christ. So it's quite all right. I mean, it's... it's, a, it's, it's uh, only a bit thick, aren't they? Yes, they're thick. The glue on the back? Uh, they're thick. They've also got abalone in them, look, if you look. Do you think... Uh, see nice little abalone dots? When was the last time you saw a guitar with scratch plates at the top and... Uh, the Everly Brothers had one. Oh, did they? Uh, Elvis had one. Yeah, Gibson used to make... Uh, that was one of the models. This is probably it. Uh, I think he's going for that sort of 50-year-old uh, look. Dude. Yeah, that kind of look there. Mind he's not a young chap, is he? Because the more embellishments in them days, the better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, make up for the lack of talent on stage. Well, actually... Well, no, I mean, the Everly Brothers were very talented. No, I'm not referring to the Everly Brothers, but... Uh, Elvis had a moment. It was probably, it wasn't that bad, yeah. Uh, it's probably to do with the actual entertainment from the stage, isn't it? It was yeah, all about was, the glitz, wasn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's all show, it's showbiz. Showbiz, yeah. And it really was in those days. It could, I mean, it came along from Vaudeville, didn't it, in America? In fact, uh, some people used to have guitars made years ago. They weren't great players, but they wanted as much bling on as possible. That's right, yeah. They had lots of the country singers. Well, that's where I think a lot of the bling on guitars and so. Well, actually, the country lads. It was also uh, no, it was also big, big band, big band stuff when they didn't really have amplification. They have massive uh, sound. Uh, what do you call them? Sound boxes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they kept they'd, trying to get bigger and bigger boxes yeah, for volume, and then they'd have lots of like uh, bling on them, yeah. so that, so they look like uh, really shabby. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But apparently they. Playability wasn't the most important thing, it was like a uh, razzle dazzle. Uh, yes, the playability wasn't the most important thing because they didn't know any better, so they learned to play hard to play instruments, didn't they? That's correct. I'm just wondering what to do um, for the remaining videos we might do today. I wonder what we can touch on. Uh, sorry? I wonder what we could expand on. We can expand on wood and me using the wrong piece yesterday. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> Was it a core component? Well, yes, I'm making a, a couple of 59 Les Pauls. Oh, yeah. And I've got all the jigs right, and I've, I've got uh, lots... Well, I did have lots and lots of um, Brazilian mahogany, but it, it's a long time. Oh. It's 40-odd years old. Yeah. And uh, so, so I've got all that, and... Uh, I'm just cleaning all the grease off before yeah, I put yeah. this. You're still, yeah. you're still drinking this stuff as well? Yeah, I'm still drinking it. Isn't yeah. that, there's a joke in there about some guy who's an alcoholic who's doing some work for somebody. Mm. And uh, he, he says, before he employs him again, he says, he's definitely not drinking anymore. He says, no, 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 he's a painter and decorator. And he says, uh, he says no, I'm, I'm okay now, you know, sort of, I'm off the, off the beer. And so he says, I've got all, all these supplies you need for this, this job. Yeah. Hands him some paint. Some other things, and he gives him some uh, white spirits, and he says, uh, "Yeah, there's a bottle." He says, "Sir, you haven't got a cold one, have you?" <laughs> oh well. That was your joke, was it? Something like that. Oh, right. I'm sure all the all the viewers, will, well, the, the viewer, is probably looking round for a night. What's your name? Needle and thread. So he stitch himself back together. <laughs> oh, yeah. Splitting. Doesn't take some of the viewers to uh, have a go at me. No, I've I'm, I'm, I'm an easy target, Doug. I'm an easy target. Fortunately, uh, I'm not the star of the show, am I? Hey, eh? hey. Eh? 
Now is it the camera? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that you call that coffee? Yeah. It's what, just... Who you made it for? A baby? Well, you there's no that. bloody coffee in it, the fucker. Well, you don't like with the shakes, the shakes you got these days. Oh God, you can't make a cup of coffee anymore. It's delicious. Can you? You've lost the ability. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's like a bloody girl's drink. Who have you made it for? A two-year-old. Well, the answer's in the question. Yeah. Let me just test mine. Well, I've got the fire working straight away. Look. Oh my God. Jesus. You don't want to be on video, do you? It's not the Inland Revenue. Oh, yeah. You don't mind me videoing it for a second, do you? I suppose what you can do with this. You can be at the end of the... Uh, well, this is our channel. Have you got a channel? Have you not seen this? <laughs> no, man. Hang on, I'll stop for a second then. I thought you were going to say the guitar keeps playing all the wrong notes, so then well, what's wrong with it? Nothing new there. Anyway, I plugged straight in... I've got rid of my pedal, straight straight in the amp, and you get... <laughs> oh, yeah. So I thought, right, it's either the lead or the amp. Mm. And then I tried it in my little practice amp and it was the same. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping it's just the the earth on the input jack, but I don't know. Could be like a... Because yeah. when I touch the strings, it goes a lot quieter. And if I don't touch the strings, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. And so I'm hoping that's all it says, Doug, to be okay. truthful. But I, I don't know, mate. So there's a bit of a... Yes, I'm getting all that lot out of there. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Folks, <laughs> <laughs> I've had a word with the specialist. <laughs> I'll leave it with you, mate. Yeah. Um, okay, so you didn't do anything to it, did you? I just did anything. I was, I was getting. No, look at that. Man. I fixed the headstock. Yeah, yeah no. That's nice grand. Been no issues there. No. This, this did feature on one of our videos before, and people liked that guitar. It's a beautiful. They said, guitar. "Oh, what a lovely looking guitar." Yeah. It is stunning. Edwards. You should have seen it a couple of weeks ago. It was so beautiful then. Yeah, I, just, I bet you were a bit annoyed, weren't you? Well, I was just... I, I wouldn't say I was annoyed. I don't get very annoyed. I don't get very annoyed very often these days. What? But What's happened to you? It's just like... <laughs> I think you've calmed down and he's gone over. Something else. <laughs> you, know, you just get something fixed, don't you? You sure you didn't throw it across the room? I threw it at the backing vocalists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how long have you had that guitar? I tell you, you got me this. Funky Pete got me this. Ah, oh, Pete's say. Yeah, God bless him, yeah. So what's the brand? It's Edwards. It's an Edwards. It's like the, the old ESP boys, you know. Oh, is it really? I think it, he's the E of the ESP. All right. Well, that's oh, right. Earth there. It's connected there, not there. Ah. So there it is. It's in that. It's just the Earth's Wouldn't be off. the fucking furthest one away, oh, would no. it? And I the... just drew a big hole there. I know. <laughs> Now listen, Doug, I, I don't want to be a twat here. <laughs> Can I come in later on and pick it up? Is it something you could do today? Or you... I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I have to, I have to take all this left out. Today. Yeah, I know. See, I, I can come back over it in the week, but I'm gigging on Sunday. I could do I've it I've got for your phone number. I've got, it, I've got it on Messenger, haven't I? I don't know if it's on yeah, Messenger. You've sent me, you've been speaking to me on Messenger, haven't you? I, I'm just ordering messages. Yeah, Messenger. Messenger. Right. Messages on Messenger. Like I say, well, you live miles away, don't you? I'm yeah, still on your boat. Swanley Bridge. Okay, so I'll, I'm going your way later. I'll drop it off. But like, uh... that's why I'm never here very often. So I just come in Tuesdays and teach. Yeah, oh, right. I've got your number on messages. There, that's you. That's me, mate. Yeah. I mean, if you can do anything today, I'd bam ever in your okay, fucking yeah. in, in your well, in your what's, what's the word? I'll just just paying. Yeah, of course I'll pay. Um, I'll have a look. If you could, that'd be grand. But if you can't, I'll come back okay. Thursday or Friday. Well, yes, it's definitely broken there. Good stuff. It's come off there. That's a fucking handy tool. Are you filming this? I'm uh, listen, swearing, swearing's encouraged. In here. There's, hey. there's, there's more swearing on this uh, on these videos than you can imagine. So what did you put this on then? Uh, well, I, I kind of left my job about uh, in January because I hated it. Good. Yeah. Well done. So I'm back well to like zero in, zero income. Yeah. And just started doing these uh, more videos with Doug. We used to do, we've been doing it for years. What, just, on Facebook? Just, yeah, no, YouTube. Oh, if you well, search for Doug Wilkes, we've got about 200. And it's like this fucking twatting bastard swearing a lot, you know. <laughs> no, 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 you that kind of language. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, just messing course. about, you know. I don't set out to swear, I don't like swearing. I'm the same. I'm, I think to myself, that's just like a shortcoming in my vocabulary. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. 
I, I'm very let down by it. Nothing works as well as fuck off anyway, does no, it? And it's nothing. universal. No, it's... Everybody knows, even if you don't speak the same lingo. Yeah, but you can't do, you can't do it too much, but it loses its power. But when you come into Doug's, I, I find when you come in around Doug, you're yeah. just sucked into filth, a world of filth, <laughs> vile <laughs> language, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Well, I tell you, it's, it's probably probably a band thing, isn't it? You get four, five guys in a band, yeah, and it's just behave like animals, don't you? Pretty it's like much. pack mentality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm serious. I'm off. I was going to say just very quickly, because um, people always say to us, "You must get more people on, yeah." Yeah. So I was going to say, Steve Hayes, yes, local, well-respected <laughs> vocalist, has and been. Lo like lovely guitarist, by the way. Thank you. Uh, I've actually, somebody recently mentions you about playing the guitar. Did they? I think I was talking about Rolfie. Oh, overrated. Because I'm doing, yeah, because I'm doing, uh, supposed to be rehearsing with him. Oh, good luck with and that. And somebody said, uh, oh yeah, Steve said, oh, Steve's a great blues player. And I, I remember that video watching you when you were gigging with Rolf. Yeah. And he did his diddly diddly diddly. Probably. And you just did like a blues thing. Yeah. Spot on, yeah. Yeah, less can be more. L less is more, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you Neely Dan tribute review, yeah? Yeah. And you're working with Rolfie, are you? Uh, well, let's talk about you for a second. Oh, okay. Uh, what, in fact, are you playing with Rolf? He said something about you doing yeah, a duo as well. Down. No, a duo. Oh, no. Did he do a duo? I do as little as possible with Rolfie. He did, I think. Because I can't afford to buy him his beer. <laughs> well, he, buy, he buys beers and he charges £1.50 a tin to the bank. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to start filming. It's the truth. I'll have to start filming. Oh, is he? Well, yeah. Well, we, we don't <laughs> want to. He's charging the two coats of paint. <laughs> I don't think he watches these, but uh, I still can't forget that uh, the uh, brush in his boots. The brush in his boots, brushing yeah. the gardener's car park. Yeah, and then also the uh, that was that that journalist take, taking it down to Birmingham. Yeah. To manifest, can which you weigh? What you weigh? Yeah, and then yeah. Sarah Miller saying now if you, if you ever gigged about two hours away, she'd get home like an hour and a half later than everybody else because he's doing fifty six. I hope he does watch it. Well, no, he's retired. Uh, Nothing else to do, has he, apart from drink and moan? The only, way, the only way he'll watch these videos is if they're displaying them at the is it the boats and horses or something. Oh, I know he gets in there. He's on the quiz team, and he gets in there. <laughs> what? I'm going to send one to you. Mm. Get it on YouTube. I'll, I'll forward yeah. one. I'm going to. I know you need to. No, no, no. no, no. He's, he's a nice guy, Robbers. Rob's all right. He's a. He's a. Fundamentally, he's, we're all right. He's a character. We just have. He's a character. That's yeah, a he's a character. One. I like Rob. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, his moments. But yeah. So, so what else you doing then, band wise? Nothing. Starving. Starving musician. Eh? Starving yeah. musician, Doug. No have more you, bar flat. Have bar you not got a job? No. Well, I'm 66 soon. So I'm, hey. just, I'm just doing this and doing a bit of teaching, you know. All right. I've yeah, been you, doing that for years. You start working at the uh, up the pole business I about 15 years ago, yeah. yeah. Climb telegraph poles for a living. Who did your vocal uh, when you had your nodules? Who did the operation? So it was a guy down at uh, Canuck. Right. Um, I forget the guy's name, but he was one of the he was the head honcho, you know. Yeah. And it was a great story because I walked in and I'd had, I had the operation late eighties, and then it came back again late nineties. Yeah. Bad technique, really, Doug. Bad singing, you know, the wrong. So nodules, and I went I went down for this appointment, and this guy sat at his computer like this, and I came in. He didn't look at me, and he's like, look at the screen. He's got some notes. He said, yeah, sit, Mr. Hayes, sit down. So I sat down. <laughs> And he says, uh, oh, he says nodules again. He said, you had this several years ago. I said, yeah, that's right. He says, and you're back now again. I said, yep. Mm -hmm. He says, yeah, you're compressing your larynx. And I'm like, <laughs> really? <laughs> and he hasn't looked at me at this part. I said, why would you know that? He says, well, I've seen you in Birmingham at the jam house. <laughs> and, and I've been watching you on YouTube. <laughs> I said... So what's this about compressing larynx? I said, what, what, how come you're so well up on that? And he says, I'm the lead tenor for the Birmingham Symphony. <laughs> <laughs> look at holy fuck. Brilliant. True story. Anyway, he, was, he said, look, he said, he, he put a video, he's got on his phone. He said, <laughs> you sing it too hard. He yeah, said, yeah. Sing 80%. Everybody will forgive you, nobody will know apart from the musicians. Yeah. Sing 80%. Because that, that stuff for me, it's all like fucking G4, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah, up there, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. it's like, fuck it up. Yeah. I'm a natural baritone, really. Yeah. So I'm bloody no. screaming and bawling. I have the same thing because I do the meatloaf stuff. Oh, fucking it's so mother. bloody hard. Absolutely, Doug. And I'm bass baritone. There you go. That takes some reaching, man. 
Yeah. And I, I had to go the uh, I had to go to have the vo my vocal looked at a couple of weeks ago because I was really losing my voice all the while. Ah. Just talking. Yeah, yeah, not good. And uh, and the, my doctor thought I'd got cancer, so Shit. he sent me up. Uh, and I haven't got cancer, and I haven't got nodules back either. I had four nodules. So you've had them removed. Doctor then, Wilson did them up the Nuffield. Ah, okay. Okay. He's brilliant. He was okay and uh, really good. Yeah. And uh, anyway, the the new uh, what's the name up the hospital last week? He's the new uh, head on show. You know the head man. Yeah. Too. And he said, oh, he did a good job. He says, I know. He said, well, he's just finished now, retired. He yeah. Says, um, I had a drink with him last week. All ah, right. He said, uh, yeah. He says he's done a real good job. He says they're not back. Excellent. And I've always thought they'd come back. Yeah. You know, yeah. I've had sore throats ever since I had it done. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's a lot of result, man. Good for you. Do you always have sore throats and you finish a gig? Not particularly. I, I, I can tell it's had a bit of a kicking, yeah. if you know what I mean. Yes. Especially since I've stopped bar flying, Doug. Because I'm only singing nearly uh, now. Not doing yeah. as much. And so I'm not the, doing as much. The less you do, the worse it gets. Absolutely. It, I'm just not exercising it, you know. Anything like I was. Christ, I used to do loads of gigs with the flies and with Les and uh, with Jim Kirkpatrick. I was out yeah, all the time, yeah. you know. Not to start again, just do a duo or something. No, mate, there's no gigs anymore, is there? No, there's that, yeah. Or there's yeah. precious few, anyway. No gigs, is there? Nothing like there was. I, I believe that Limedale's closing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Dean's place, yeah. Yeah, oh, I've never been in, but... Um, you get yourself like a puppet, you can go up Hanley like that guy with the puppet used to do. He was quite good, actually, wasn't he? He not change, does he, Carl? <laughs> Eric. Eric, yeah, it's Eric. better than Nob. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to knob off, speaking of knobs, because I'm, yeah. I'm going to teach Jack. I'm going to teach him Sultans of Swing. Who's Jack? He's a young lad who was teaching Newcastle. He's a great lad. Is he Tuesday? He's yeah. been playing 12 months. I want to learn the guitar. I said, yeah, OK. I'll give it six weeks, like everybody. And he's come on leaps and bounds, man. So you just drive around people's houses all Tuesday? Yeah, I am. I'm, yeah. You don't go to, like, one location where they come to you? No, no, I just... <laughs> Zip around Stoke. Must cost you about 50 quid in petrol. Yeah, it does. There's no money. <laughs> do you mean, you it's not a great business model. To do, you want, do you want to tell it? Then I come Doug, to Doug's. <laughs> give me 20 quid. <laughs> this guy's broke. Plus, I've got to shoot. Dougie, thanks for this, man. Well, I haven't got it out yet. Well, so if you can, great. And if you can't, I'll get it in the week. Final words, Doug. Say goodbye to this video. Fuck off.